let's uh, take this often used expression and apply it to our study. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. That certainly applies to the teaching pro. Um, if you can get certified in a weekend and then you think you're good to go because you have two days of training and testing, but a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. I have learned so much from all my years dealing with tennis parents. And I think many parents don't want to actually take the role of parent teacher, parent coach. And I understand that. But I don't understand not taking the role of parent's practice partner. When it comes down to um, if you're new to the game and you haven't been around it for a long time, yeah, it's great that you understand a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. But that doesn't mean that you can't go out as a parent with your child and, and as we call it, tossing balls this way, feeding balls like a pigeon, um, like feeding a pigeon. When, when it comes down to using the quadrants and running the skills test, just learning to feed balls, I find too often what happens is many times we want a speaking part. I've had all sorts of jobs in tennis where I didn't have a speaking part. I was working with someone who's... Uh, very accomplished and very knowledgeable, and my, my role is to be a support pro. And I think that the parent with the player can be just that, a support practice partner. You don't have to be the coach. You don't have to start talking to them about their forehand and backhand. Uh, so anyway, when it comes down to that expression, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. My message for parents is don't let that inhibit you from getting on a tennis court and being proactive, being a support, a supporting role um, that's, that's an active role where you're going to become a practice partner. And you can get on the court too and reverse the role and have your child toss you some balls.